What's up? Good morning. Super nice day out. Got all my stuff with me. Heading off to work right now. Hopefully I won't be there long. We'll see. Got my camera in there. I need to go back and get it. That's a first. So I'm gonna go check out and see what's wrong with that uh, light in my truck. I have a feeling the pins on the new one are reversed, which would be really weird. But auto manufacturers do weird things. Okay, see how my camera just did that? I swear these Joby mounts. This, these last like one month and then they get super loose and then they pop off. And once they pop off, they're never the same. They never hold. Maybe I'll actually return this one instead of mysteriously losing it like I did the last one. I guess it's kind of a bad time to be checking this because it's so dark and when I close the door I don't have any light but gotta do it at some point and this is when I'm doing it all right let's check it out okay here's what I'm doing right now I just got the uh, ground hooked up to the ground of the light and uh, I'm checking the two pins and when all the switches are off then they both should do nothing, which they do, and then when you turn one of the lights on, whatever one should have 12 volts, which would turn the light on obviously to ground, should suddenly work, which is the opposite of what is going on here. So for whatever reason, I had these two plugs, I didn't check this before because I figured it would be the same. This plug and the dome light plug are the exact same and they have the exact same wires. So they have one wire with a white strip, a black wire with a white strip, and the other wire is just solid black. And they both plug into a connector like this. But they are correct in the way they plug in, but they're not correct on this side of it. So I guess in the newer models they switch the wires. Doesn't make any sense. So now I either have to desolder these and switch them, or most of the time with these type of clips, you can get the pins out and swap them. And I'm going to try to do that. A little explanation of something completely simple and completely screwed up because all they did was change the way the plug works. Crazy. Alright, got them out. Now swap them. That's better. And installed. So it still doesn't explain why. Just the pop. Okay. Never mind. It's all working. 
Excellent. Okay. It's not that late. Maybe go shoot some photos. Or maybe just go exploring. I kind of have this obsession with really well lit things, like workspaces. It's just like, I don't know what it is. Just being able to see is so handy. <laughs> yeah, Captain Obvious. So I actually managed to get to some place that I've never been before. Well, streets I've never been on, some sketchy areas. Looking for some cool spots for photos. Found a couple, but I'm really just exploring tonight. I don't really feel like getting out. But yeah, I'm actually in unfamiliar territory. Kind of sketchy, but whatever. Ugh. Well, that was a yawn. So uh, I was just putting my tripod in the back seat. And uh, I think I need a new lightning cable. Yeah. Come on. Broke off. <laughs> oh man. That's annoying. Only something. Got that out. <laughs> so, didn't take any pictures tonight. I explored, found some cool streets, a little bit sketchy. Good to go there with someone else, probably. But, they're not really that sketchy, it's just like dark and industrial with the occasional random house. So, I've worked on my vehicles in that street for a super long time. And uh, it's funny because like you always get weird looks, but once, a while ago, I've always like, I've bought and sold several cars. I'll probably do a video on it sometime, but I don't know how many cars I've had, like 10 or 12. Uh, some of them only for like a week or two, but this BMW I had, I actually changed the interior in the street from white to black, and that meant taking the dash out, so if there was a period of time when the car was in the street with no dash, and anyone that walked by was like astonished at the amount of like wiring and all this crap that people don't normally see, which is underneath the dash of their car, and this was like a 96. Of course, like, they were pretty high-tech in 96, well, overly high-tech, I would say, with, like, motors and stuff. We have pictures of it. Let me check. Aha! Uh -huh. I had to search deep, deep in the dark internet, no, not actually, but some photo account on some site that's not used anymore. Photo bucket. Anyways, I took all this stuff out in the vehicle, in the street, and it was pretty hilarious and a bit of a nightmare. It was surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. But yeah, I'm surprised people didn't complain about me doing this. Yeah, no video though. Wasn't taking video then, you know that. So uh, that's pretty funny. Those were some cool cars I had. Too bad they're gone. Anyways, the moon looked really cool, but I didn't get a shot of it. The moon was super red, and like right over the city, but again, like I was 10 minutes too late, because it would have been perfect if it was just like that much lower, and I just forget until I see it at a certain height. I don't know. It's annoying. So, hmm. as always, be good, and good night.